your lord. Right, right. Just, Every time it gets first, he's just like. Everybody. <laughs> so, who do we take these, uh, the, these eyes to? That dude. The potion seller. Potion seller. We also have to show it to the. We also have to show the it to leader the, king the guy. leader guy. Let him yes, know that you we do. Killed him. That's why I have the stalk. How are we transporting Did that I? eye? It's huge. He gave me a magic box. chest. Magic oh, yeah. Dude, I have, like, I have this Wait, giant eye. Yeah, I have a magic chest that he gave me. I guess we could just go show uh, him that and then, you know, give to the I mean, we can just say, hey, give a name to the potion seller. How do you know the potion seller? Yes. No, you did not. Cool. Um, He's just the potion seller. Yes. Strong so potion seller. Because we have the big eye. I have the little eyes from his stalks, except for the one he cut off. Yeah, I have a bunch of other eyes from other beholders how many little beholders did we kill in the last game? Five or six. Uh, six. six. I didn't kill so I got six eyes of beholder, and then I get that big eye of the beholder, and plus the little <laughs> eyes from his stalks. Yeah. Except for the one that is in his. Well, how many, after how we many... turn this in, you have to remember that the treasure is from the eye of the beholder. It is. Um, how many eyes did I get from his stalks? How many stalks did we have all together? Mm, they usually have like mm, eight. Ten. Ten. So I got nine eyeballs from the stalks because he has more. Than nine really little eyeballs. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I'm assuming you probably got some rest of them then, so. How do you get the rest of it? Very good, uh, very good. The box, yeah. <clears throat> it's a magical box that holds all, right. all these eyes. As you're traveling, you can take a look at these items. Okay. Uh, Rand. Yes. That is a plus two crossbow. Nice. That's one extra plus. That's awesome. And I don't know any... I know it has still... I know it has a still. magical aura, but I don't okay. know... Okay. No, like it's just a plus two. Oh, that's it. Oh, just okay. Doesn't actually pay attention to the numbers when he gives me things. He just randomly lets it happen, Probably. just to see what go is going to happen when I. When uh, I happen Kyron, you find it's a plus one dagger, okay. but it's returning, so I can throw it. Yeah, Big. That's kind of cool, actually. So I have a plus one throwing dagger that yes. returns to me. Yeah, I'm gonna dip it in silver. <laughs> well, I already have silver daggers. Well, it's magic, well, yeah, so it's magic overcomes all that anyway. Yeah. Dip it you should dip it in the heart of a dying star. There and call you it go. Mjolnir. Yes. Uh, I found a book. Actually, we, we need a tub of Tempos. <laughs> that is about. I have a returning. Uh, I would have a returning. Uh, can Arcana so check real quick. Dagger. <laughs> Gerald, I have a plan. It's not a good plan. <laughs> it's a terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it. Four to one. Great. I'm walking and reading it. it. Doesn't work. That's fair. Uh, well, you can just. I was just seeing what what you get. It's not a big deal. You can just read, like, kind of begin the book, so you'll know what it is. This is a manual of bodily yeah. health. Has it started yet? No, it's got one more fight. No, no it's called it's next. It is next. Yes. Okay. Cool. You that book that you got. If you. Spend 48 hours over a period of six days or fewer studying the book's contents and practicing its guidelines. Within six days. Yeah. Your constitution score increases by two, as does your maximum for that score. Uh, the manual then loses its magic but regains it in 100 years. Cool. So, cool. I do, with that, years. do with that <laughs> as you will. Uh, how long do half elves live? Uh, they. they Probably live more than that. Yeah, but, we live a while. Um, and halflings. Halflings don't usually live. They live half of that. No, I mean they live. It was a joke because he's tiny. Like who? Um, the okay. oldest halfling in like lore, I guess, would be Bilbo. But he, he doesn't count. He had the ring. I'm just saying, is the age of a half elf can exceed 180 years. Uh, Peregrine. Uh, yeah. The old the Duke took because, because they, they drank the in water. Uh, Probably. I know. I'm, just, I'm 123. <laughs> um, okay. I've been around a while. I'm middle aged. Because um, I don't think Hercule will be The staff okay. that I mean, you got. I can. <laughs> I live a few years. Oh, I'm going to have to make a decision on which of these. They're not terribly different. You're from a different plane. It's only big difference. I mean, tieflings are half demon, half humans anyway. Yeah. You are not 100% sure I'm what the staff the is, because you can't attune right. to it. Stick! It looks like this. Can anybody in our group attune to it? Probably. 
No. I can tell you what no. it would attune to. Nope. So it's a druid or cleric staff, but I could probably tell. It's probably a druid staff. I could probably tell who. It's a druid. Stuff. I can almost guarantee it's a druid staff. It looks yeah. like a stick, and that's on it. Yeah. No. Yes, I'm gonna sell it. Is my crossbow? I mean, I know it's made out of, like you said, like obsidian-looking stuff. Other than, um, so you got some useful. Um, he got actually, useful. never mind. You get something useful. Yep. I got shot with a dart and a worthless item. Neat. You don't know that is, yeah. It's valuable. It's a valuable item. Huh? It's a valuable item. Plus two would be really nice, but... I'll have it a prank on you. Repeating is also nice. something else that you want. It's up to you, whatever you do with it. Yeah, I know. Uh, you might be able to have it retrofitted later. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be repeating, but it's a little pricey to do that. Alright. Spend that money, yes, Captain. So you, so you make your way back to town. And this is the first time I've Who seen Gamma. Who are you going to see first? King Guy. Why can't we have uh, the people we're proving this to meet us at the potion cellar? The Archdeacon? Yeah, the Archdeacon. Yeah, well, that. You can try. Well, he's done it before. Yeah. I've never even he seen met us Rain's the never he even seen Ganrock. He's he like, us at the Whoa. library. What does this place he look did. like? Gen Genrock is a gnomish town. City. city. So everything's the right height. <laughs> everything's the right height for you, yeah. Uh, you do yeah. notice that uh, something that you've never seen before, really. This city has patrolling maps. Okay. Uh, enormous. The same kind of ones that burst in enormous, when we. Yeah. yeah, okay. Enormous manned robots, uh, essentially. How are you getting word to the Archdeacon? I'm going to go there. There are gates as we walk in. And there are guards everywhere, aren't there? Yeah. Send word to the Archdeacon. That, that we took care of his beholder problem. Yeah, that we took care uh, of the beholder problem. Meet us at the potion oh. cellar. I, I don't know. Potion Although the name, the, the potion cellar, Poti but cellar. spell it as cellar, like an underground area, would be great name for a place. Sounds good to me. Yep. We should open a bar. We should open a bar. The potion cellar. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. The then. potion cellar. We'll sell wings and I'll eat them. The guard kind of smirks at that, but they will deliver the information. And if he wants it, if he wants to know, he wants to know. Mm -hmm. We got shit to do. We're busy people. And then you go straight to the potion cellar. Okay. So we go there. I'm just kind of following you guys. I'm not being quite as crazy ah. right now, sorry. Okay. Just, oh. Your group returns. Mm -hmm. Question. Yes. Do you have my box? Well, question first. Do you have something that would unpetrify a person? Mm, in, like, potion format? Something, anything. Spells, potions, I don't care. Mm. No, you'd have to see a cleric for that. Where's the local cleric? The Archdeacon's Julie on his way. He's a pretty badass cleric. All right then, then that says that probably got this. Uh, okay, you. Nope. Not the answer. I have the box. Because we have proof. Just to make sure. I don't think that there's a potion anymore that does that. There used to be. You would have to like pour it all over them. Though. That's gonna be awkward. Potion of greater restoration. We're getting thirty thousand gold. I've seen no. There was no, nope. I'm just curious. That's cool, though. Not a big deal. Okay. No. Not fine. Shall we fulfill the agreement? We'll wait till the Archdeacon gets here. Fair enough. He's we coming have, here. We have, we to, have prove to prove that we killed the Beholder to the Archdeacon. He's a strong one, to be honest. Hopefully he can help my friend. He is strong enough for my potions. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so we have the agreed upon amount, which I would not want to discuss openly just yet. But how much extra would you get for some extra odds? And an intact stalk. Extra beholder eye? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe yeah, a few eyes from the actual stalk itself. 
Well, that depends on the type of beholder you got it from. I don't remember the name of them. What are they called? Spectator. Spectator. Nah. Yeah. Well, we we would have known that, right? Uh, we could describe it pretty accurately yeah, to him, I think. They're, they're like little ones. Yeah. And he'll know what it is when you show him the eye. True. Okay. I've got a few extra. Okay. Where'd you all get those? Don't worry about it. Places. No, like you saw the bodies on the way out. Uh, the holder bodies. Oh, yeah. Oh, Behold the bodies. <laughs> Behold the bodies. For comedic. They hit the floor. <laughs> Start. You're waiting there for a while. Okay. Like, you're just kind of hanging out. We have a nice chit chat. Chatting with the potion seller. Looking at the guy who's wearing it. Regaling tells of the we can't use. At the time, I'm asking. I want to talk to this potion seller. Again, I don't remember. Dude, I'm telling what. stories to the potion seller. Go away. You have not encountered the potion seller. No, oh, I haven't. No, you've never been here. Okay. You were, you were kind of bamfed away before. Before we got. That's what I figured. But now I'm. Well, you're telling stories too. I'm breaking in What's like. What's great is we're just letting that happen. What? He disappeared. Yeah. And we found him in a cave where he's like. Eh. Yeah. The Avengers just thinks he was you, drunk. He, are you, um, like, are you asking the potion seller? Well, I was just asking about the city, and, and like, no, no, no. since he's someone that deals in things somewhat arcane, if he would know anywhere, like, auction house or somewhere that, since this being a city of such finely statured people, you might actually know where a civilized person could sell some magical items. Give me a persuasion check. And again, finally statured. I'm very happy to be around people. Oh, my own. Finally statured, yeah. Yeah. Uh, persuasion. It's a no. Ten. So it's that's. A ten. It's not a 10. No. I'm not. You're, you're not proficient. proficient. I'm not proficient in persuasion. So that's a 9. Shoot, boy. What do you need people for? Your flowery words reveal your weakness. <laughs> no, ah! Ah! I'll soup for you. <laughs> so anyway, back well. to the story. I had, I had a dragon friend who once killed a rock monster by yelling at it. <laughs> really? Vicious mockery is a hell of a spell. So it is. For, uh, it, it's a cantrip, isn't it? The bar. I think it's a, yeah, it's a cantrip. For bards. As, I don't have as any you're stories. waiting. I killed the beholder. Good for you. You hear in the city... Um, bells start to go off, and Bring out your dad. the potion seller gets up, walks out from behind the desk, and like ushers you all outside. Okay. Um, you notice when you go outside that like the the streets, which are normally just a little bit busy, are like. You see gnomes start piling out of the buildings. Like, uh, everyone's coming from, outside. Everyone's coming outside. Even, like, all of the, the non gnomes come out. And uh, you also notice that they're turning and facing the tower that's kind of in the center of Ganron. Um, we were supposed to go up to the tower one. The. Meh. You also notice, and I won't make you roll for this, because all of the other sort of non-gnome races are much taller, so you can see them pretty well. They also, like, respectfully turn to face the tower. Right. And then, as one, once, once the final bell chimes, all of the gnomes begin a chant. Uh... <laughs> and it's actually like pretty loud uh, and really Nothing strange happened. to hear. Um, but you can also tell that this is a very uh, frequent occurrence. It's not something that is just Are no one's dreaming of happening. Out of the ordinary, really. Are the other people chanting? Huh? Are the other people who aren't? The other people are not chanting because they don't know it, really. Okay. Um, now, this is the law of Naut. As ancient and true as the sky. The gnome who shall keep it will prosper, but the gnome who shall break it must die. As the secrets that dwell in the tower, 
and its powers that calleth and beck. The strength of the tech is the gnome, and the strength of the gnome is the tech. And then... Clever. They... They all glow? They all go back There's the inside spurs. of their buildings. Okay. So he goes back and goes back behind huh. the... Uh, that was fun. Goes back behind the... The counter. Sorry, Guys, I kind of thought gnomes would... I kind of thought they'd be a little bit more normal compared to you tall people. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a single normal normal one of us in this group. <laughs> what are you talking about? You, you do see the best that... The, uh... Like, do you immediately go back into the potion shop? Yeah, if the you, potion seller did. Yeah. I mean, I don't have that reason to stand outside. Okay. Um, about ten minutes after that crazy thing happened, um, you hear the loud footsteps of the archdeacon. Is he fat or something? He's in a no. robot. No. Oh, okay. He's a, he, okay. He has uh, robotic appendages. Okay, you gotcha. Know, uh, Think Doc Ock. Doc Spider- Octo from Spider-Man. Okay, Spider-Man. gotcha. Yeah. That's very much Otto Octavius, yeah. Very much like that, except there are six coming out, and he has two, uh, like ones, two arms, oh. two two extra arms as well. So he has ten total appendages. Um, ah, back so soon. I took care of your problem. It took you about five days. Efficient. We took the scenic crew back. Fair enough. Could you help our friend? Uh, and then I'll pull her out of the bag of holding. When you say that, he, um, he, he notices Rand. Yeah. Because he had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that one. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm just there like. Pure black eyes just kind of lounging against the wall. Hmm. That's how we look at him, Your too. Your eyes are familiar. Have you encountered the Tinkerer? I don't know, the, the, I mean, the dungeon, is, right? Is the that was one that does yes? post thing, right? <laughs> the Tinkerer. Okay, then yes. I just kind of started getting used to these eyes myself, man. I don't know how important this guy is. Like, he's the leader. Well, considering he's the, the archdeacon. archdeacon. Oh well, I forgot we. Uh, the, I'd heard you all call the him that. So yeah, is but the well, arch- okay, I'm a bit more respectful than the, that. But the actual, theoc- he's the leader of the, the- theocracy. Uh, that is actually, sir, I'm just getting used to these myself. I'm not sure if I've ever met a tinkerer before. Hmm. Are you talking about the three potions that were located in the caverns? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, he drank one. The wrong uh, one. Do you have the other ones? I have the white one. Oh. We had to drink the other one to get through. Right, right. I have the white one still. Um. May I? This is a. Uh, thank you for returning this ancient uh, Norwich secret. <coughs> and I know what it does. Yes, <laughs> uh, it's a very, very dangerous. powerful, very yes. powerful. But it does, it doesn't meet my benefits. It doesn't for most. It's designed to confuse and protect. Uh, and of course, as you know, as you seem to know, you oh. kill. Kill. And on the Yes. Um, can you kind of like, may I? Because technically you found it, so mm-hmm. it's yours. Uh, May we put it in the tower? Excellent. Thank you. And he 
kind of like tucks it into his robe. Rand raises his hand up as he's talking. Yes. Kyron. Uh, your name? Uh, yeah. I'm Rand Brightbottle. Uh, good to meet you. Um, we don't yes. see many halflings, so it's interesting to meet you as well. Yeah, yeah I, I do like being around people who are the right height. I've been <laughs> saying this, and these people don't understand it. But you seem to obviously know something about these potions I drank. Mm-hmm. And, or the potion, and don't get me wrong, it's cool with the ladies the way my eyes look right now, but there's some side effects. I wonder if you know anything about, you know, maybe not having those. You mean like the rage. uncontrollable rage? Yes, exactly. Yes, I saw that. I am familiar with that. Um, it's tricky to get rid of. Problem is Problem done too. the tinkerer who we expect or suspect rather is still alive somewhere. Um, has been our best. This is going to be kind of a funny thing. Was our best uh, craft craftsman, our best potion maker, and and like the potion seller guy. Yeah, looks. Blocked He's angry, like, like, like mad, calling yeah. him better, yeah. Um, <clears throat> this particular issue is something that can be fixed. Is my phone fully charged? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's send that over to Pocket Please, if you don't mind. That one right there, yeah. It's in the honor box, it'll be good. <coughs> um, uh, <coughs> Unfortunately, the only way that I know to get rid of it is with a wish stuff. And that means it's being really low. Um, Even as unarcanically trained as I am, I still know that that's not. Seven pieces yes. or something. That is something I'm that. I'm just going to waste it on him. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Or do you know of anything that could mitigate the effects? David, David. Hey, David. <laughs> David cannot mitigate the effect. Clearly. It is... It is potentially possible for... Uh, something like true resurrection. Like if you are killed, the curse is broken. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound like a good idea to me, buddy. Sounds good uh, to me. I'm sorry, sir. Right. <laughs> After calling him buddy. <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. He's pretty chill. <laughs> well, then by this time I will have her statue. You have her account. It's, 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 it's like, like a half like, orc dick like, statue out. Like, 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 shaking excited. it out of this tiny bag of Well, orc. so what you're saying is you have so her you're statue saying that erect? I need to. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to deal with this a little bit more permanently. Um, well, he's got a more immediate problem, and I point behind him to the hurt statue. Ah, ah, <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, I see. Well, um, and he actually, uh, before he he goes to kind of inspect that whole issue. Uh, he goes to the box and looks at the beholder eyes and I guess this, uh, the other eyes and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and an intact eye that is for the person. Curious. Most people go to destroy the eye because yeah. it makes it much easier. Probably does, but yeah. they told me not to. So impressive. There was a monetary incentive. Monetary well, incentive hard. for uh, keeping the eye intact. I only had to shoot it twice. He moves up to to Herc, and uh, 
kind of rests his hands, holds on to his oh, yeah. symbol for a second, and reaches out and touches her. Reach out and touch face. Which, uh, like, kind of touches the shoulder, and it, from, like, from that point, he unpetrifies, and he's still, like, uh, uh, he's still raging rage, for six seconds. Rage mode. Uh, calm. Calm yourself. Or Goose Brava. Goose Brava. <laughs> Goose Brava. No, he's also going to go ahead. Serenity now. He's at one health, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> Quite I clearly and obviously. Did anybody, we, no, you took damage. So yeah. Right. It does for... It's like a foot and a half from an energy. You took a fucking nap. <laughs> how, many, how many points does ah! 176. <laughs> okay. Um, he's also going to cast Mass Heal. On her body. I took more damage Mass than Heal <coughs> can heal up to 700 hit points total amongst Damn. various critters. So we're good. Uh, so I mean, technically, you had a long rest anyway because we... What came back. There was. Like, <laughs> everyone had a long rest, I didn't so it's that. not a big deal. He just cast it on mostly her, on her, because he can. Right. Um, shows you how beast he is. Right. Like that, he's casually healing that. That's, that's a I have a question. Show you yes. a stick. What's this? Ah. He kind of. He. Uh, do you hand it to him? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I like the stick. I know. One of one of the uh, appendages kind of grabs it, and he gives it a one circle. This is something called the staff, a staff of withering. Uh, usable only by clerics such as myself, uh, druids, and warlocks. And it does a number of different interesting things um, that we can't do. <laughs> That yeah, I can use it yourself. That's fine. Can I use it to reach things on tall shelves? You know, the magic initiate. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> I'm sure you could. To what? To reach things on tall shelves. Could I use it as a back stretcher? Put a hand on it. It does. Uh, he actually will explain to you what it does. Not that it's super relevant. I mean, Although maybe for. Well, like I want to know now. <laughs> It has three charges. Uh, it's a magic quarter step, essentially. Uh, on a hit, it does normal quarter step damage. You can use one charge to deal an extra 2d10 necrotic damage on the target. Uh, in addition, it must succeed on a saving throw constitution or have disadvantage for one hour on any ability check or saving throw that uses strength or constitution. So it's pretty nasty stuff. It's a really good stack for a warlock. Yeah. It's That's a neat. It's, it's a rare item. I say in certain certain shops it would fetch a decent sum. I can find that list. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Magic it. items table. Just the table of the different items, not the. No, I thought I put a tab on the site. I thought you think maybe that was my copy of the book. Oh, there it is. I think this is your copy. Um, it fetch you around 2,500 gold. You want it? Not particularly. Okay. I don't really need it. We will uh, stop there for now and we'll be right back. All right. I was just going to give it to him. Later.